The electrician's worst nightmare is usually that the draw wire will not go through. So while inserting the wire through the conduit, the electrician is silently praying, making a prayer that that draw wire will not be stuck like that. Our kitchen has one twin socket. There are high chances that on that twin socket, there will be a connection for the fridge as well as a microwave or even a freezer. This customer or this person might even have an extension where they will further connect heating appliances such as a heating kettle or a heater. So it is best for me to have suitable wires and for this choice I will go with 4.0 millimeter square so that in the event that this socket is connected with a fridge or a freezer together with the microwave at the same time the conductors will be able to handle that load so from this socket here i will connect the 4.0 millimeter square wires all the way to the consumer unit and remember this is a very important installation where there will be a lot of heating that will be taking place and heaters must have the earth connection so at our consumer unit again we give room we give an allowance like so the socket we give it an allowance to allow for future repairs or replacements so that allowance will be okay then we cut it like that these wire will be able to handle all that demand comfortably now if you are learning something smash that like button now for this socket which is in the common area basically serves appliances such as the tv and low powered electronic appliances we will use 2.5 millimeter square wires so while inserting the wire through the conduit the electrician is silently praying making a prayer that that draw wire will not be stuck like that so i have to use some force and just spray and hope it will go all the way to the consumer unit and there you have it <laughs> so i have to be very careful with the way i connect it here and after i do that perfect connection there I will still have to tape it because it has to go through a lot of corners before I can pull it. So you just tape it like that so that it will be easier to go through the corners. Sometimes you have to apply, you know, some cooking fat or some grease so that it can negotiate the corner. And then I will pull it as I support it, like that, that, so there we have it, given it a good allowance there, so again remember for a socket we will still need to give it enough allowance in case there will be repairs or maintenance work to be done in future on the consumer unit, that allowance according to me is perfect and i will have to cut my wires there our very important earth connection and the face there and we have it so that is all for the wiring in the next video we will now start doing the fixtures where we'll have the switches together with the sockets connected including all the gadgets that we'll have here in the consumer unit See you in the next one. In the meantime, subscribe to my channel so that you do not miss that episode.